In this video, we're going to talk about how Power BI Sentinel works, how you own and control all of your data, and the three different types of users that might be interested in using the tool. While the front end and how you interact with Power BI Sentinel is pretty straightforward, because there's so many features and because it needs to tie into your environment, it can help to understand how it works behind the scenes and how different types of users are going to interact with it. Even though Power BI Sentinel is an online service, it's designed so that you own and control your data. This means that the backups and data are stored in your Azure environment. So in order to use Power BI Sentinel, you're going to have to create resources in Azure to store your data. And you're going to have to give Power BI Sentinel permission to scan your environment so that it actually can understand what's going on with PowerBI.com. After that initial setup, you can use it like any other online service. So what does it actually do? And why should you care? Power BI Sentinel supports three different types of users with pretty different needs. First are Power BI admins, who have to manage the Power BI environment. Next are Power BI report developers and IT administrators who have to manage reports. Third are the governance and compliance folks who have to manage data consistency and security as a whole, but may not care particularly about Power BI itself. So what features do these particular types of users care about? As a Power BI admin, the first thing is to make sure Power BI is actually being used and used properly. Power BI Sentinel provides audit log reporting to see what reports are being used and by whom. This allows you to see where adoption efforts may need more support or identify users who are licensed with Power BI but don't need to be. Next, you can monitor security. This is both at a user level to see what access and permissions they have, but also at a data set level to see if row level security is being applied. Next, you can manage backups so that if something happens to your reports, you have a way to restore it instead of hoping someone has a copy of the PBIX file or RDL file available. Next are report developers who don't care about usage in general across the organization. They care if their reports are getting used. It's no fun to spend 20 hours building something and no one is using it. But even more importantly, Lack of usage is a sign that the report may not be meeting your users' needs. Next, we've all pushed out an update on Friday and found out over the weekend that we accidentally broke something, or worse yet, accidentally deleted a report. Power BI Sentinel allows you to see what changed and revert those changes. This is a huge deal if you're busy fixing other people's reports as well. Finally, there has never been a time that I've been excited to write documentation for my reports. It's just not going to happen. Power BI Sentinel can do a lot of that automatically for you. Our last type of user doesn't even care about Power BI. Instead, Power BI is simply a risk vector. Imagine, for example, that you add everyone to a workspace, but you never circle back as reports and data sets are being added. It's easy to wander your way into providing more access than you intended. Corporate governance and compliance folks care about this sort of thing and want to be able to monitor who has access to the most sensitive and confidential data. Additionally, large companies, publicly traded companies, and companies in regulated industries all have to deal with auditing. In some cases, there has to be a firewall between the people writing the reports and the people deploying them. Finally, it's important to make sure that those reports are consistent, especially financial reports provided to external users or external auditors. Imagine that sales, finance, product, and marketing all have different versions or definitions of total sales. Data lineage allows for making sure that the data is coming from the same place. So, assuming that you fall into one of those three categories of users, getting started is super quick. It takes about 30 minutes and you'll need three pieces. I'll cover each of those very quickly and later videos will walk you through each step. First, you'll need to create some storage in Azure. Specifically, you'll need Azure Blob Storage to back up your Power BI reports and Azure SQL Database to store the rest of the data. Next, you'll need to grant some permissions. First, so that Power BI Sentinel can access those resources that you just created. And then secondly, so that Power BI Sentinel can access your environment. Finally, you need to configure Power BI Sentinel with all the details of this storage and of your environment so it knows where to look. You'll also need to acquire either a monthly or annual license for Power BI Sentinel. Assuming you go through all these steps, you might be asking, okay, but when can I start using it? When can I actually get value out of my investment? 
But once it's set up, Power BI Sentinel will start scanning the environment and the reporting template will be ready the next day to start viewing usage information. You'll also have information about data security and lineage in your environment. Do be aware that Power BI Sentinel doesn't have much information from before when you set it up. You'll have about a month's worth of audit logs, but no more. However, much of the value will accumulate over time as it collects more information about usage or as it tracks changes to reports. Speaking of which, much of the value will come when things unfortunately break. Hopefully it takes a while for that to happen, but when it does, you'll have access to report backups and change logs to see exactly what happened. Even better, Power BI Sentinel will help you with preventing issues. Usage reports allow you to identify the most business critical reports. Impact analysis tells you who will be impacted when you have to change those reports. Reviewing access allows you to prevent data breaches before they happen. In this way, some features will make it so you don't need other ones. You don't need a bucket of water to put out fires if you prevent them in the first place. So what's next? In future videos, we'll cover the specific steps to get set up as well as how to get value out of your subscriptions as quickly as possible. If you're ready to move forward with deployment of Power BI Sentinel, use the Buy Now link to get started. If you have questions and want to know more, contact us at help at powerbisentinel.com to schedule an in-depth demo with a Power BI Sentinel team member. Thanks.